morning, everybody. We're north of Salt Lake City in Utah. Pulled in here last night, had a good sleep, slept really good. I noticed that when I go for a walk during the day, my sleeps that following night are just whew, sleep great. So I'm getting the truck all ready to go. We're gonna hit the road. We're on our way up to Banff, Alberta. We picked up this load behind me in Grand Junction, Colorado yesterday. I've got a lot of time to get up there. So I'm not in any big of a rush, but we're gonna make our way up there as quickly as possible and uh, get this off the trailer, see what's next after that. Before we get started with today's video, today's special shout out goes to our friends at Howes Products. You can find a link to their website down below, my video in the description, all the diesel treatment products you need. Best of the best, go check them out. Nice truck stop, got an Arby's in there, convenience store. This is my load and that's my parachute behind me. So the reason, I'll explain it again today if you didn't watch yesterday. The reason I put this stuff up front and that at the back is because this stuff is heavier than that can. And thinking about it now, uh, after I've been pulling it down the highway for a few hundred miles, I realize I should have done it the other way anyway. I should have, I should have put this behind that and it would have slipped through the wind a lot easier. It's not that bad. I've been, like the, the truck is cutting through the wind and sort of breaking the wind for that, but it's still catching quite a bit. And it's uh, destroying my fuel economy at times, like if I'm going against wind. But as long as I'm not going into a very strong wind, I'm still doing pretty good. So it is what it is now. It's loaded and we're on our way up to BC. Pardon me, we're on our way up to Banff, not BC. It's uh. It's in the mountains of Alberta, close to the BC border. But, uh, yeah. They asked me how I wanted the trailer, and I always tell them, whatever's heaviest, put the heaviest up front and the lightest at the back. And we loaded it up like this, and I looked at it and said, you know what, that's okay. I gave the thumbs up and uh, loaded it on. I'm perfectly legal for my weights. It rides really smooth, because I'm carrying the weight on my drives and not pulling it on my trailer. Uh, so the ride is really good, and like I said, as long as I'm not going directly into a headwind, it's still doing fine. I'm still doing amazing fuel economy, better, like above average. My average is about six to six and a half miles per gallon with this truck. And uh, I'm averaging close to seven, even with this trailer loaded the way it is now. In hindsight, going back, I probably would switch them around, put that can up front, but uh, it is what it is, right? It is, can't change it now. So let's just get this thing uh, delivered. We have 900 miles left. We'll try to do about 600 today, five to 600, and we'll do the rest tomorrow and then deliver the following day. Let's go out there, have some fun. Let's go do some trucking. All right, let's get going. You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a very, very good day. This load is pretty light. It's all been sitting on there very well. The chains have stayed tight. I haven't had to adjust them. I've checked them several times. Let's get back out there. truck stop to stay at okay buddy but 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 hey 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 go around my lane oh, yikes all right interstate 15 northbound also 84 west
Alberta bound. on the pavement 
here. I guess we sort of just got to make our own spots. That's risky. <laughs> That could cause chaos, man. Yeah, there's no lines painted. Maybe they just, the, the pavement looks kind of new. Maybe they just haven't painted the lines yet and they repaved it recently. Huh. Whole bunch of dropped trailers at the end over there. Hopefully they all got pads underneath them or they're gonna wreck this fresh asphalt. <sighs> Bit chillier up here. <laughs> been walking down in Arizona and New Mexico. Uh, so we're just on the other side of the freeway. We parked at the Flying J on the north side of I-15. And we uh, walked across to the pilot on the south side. And then I saw this little street that led into this tiny little neighborhood. Figured I'd come check it out. Here's a little park. Looks like it's an old train station converted into a park. It's pretty cool. What's this say? Town Pump Stewardship. On the trail of history. Rocker Station. The Silver Bow Creek Greenway project was made possible by the partnership. Oh, that's just who put this together. Thought it was some history. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, they have hours on this park. That's interesting. Look at that. Park hours. 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. No going to the park after 10 p.m. in Butte, Montana. Well, that sun went away pretty quickly. We got our walk in, then I had a shower and had something to eat. And now I'm going to continue on down the road, probably about another, uh, I'd like to get to the next pilot, which is up near Coots, Alberta, or near Sweetgrass, Montana, up the 15. It's about 200 miles from here. Oh, and i got to grab fuel yet, too. I could grab fuel up there. So I was going to fuel in Boulder. Should, I probably shouldn't do that yet. Stayed here a little longer than I thought I would, but and it feels good to be cleaned up. And we can't cross the border today anyway, so I had the time. At the roundabout, take the third exit and then take the entrance to the left in 900 feet. Montana, you have also been plagued with these roundabouts. That is spreading like a disease, isn't it? across the street from each other. And there's a loves right over there. 
I guess that, that's how it is everywhere. Well, I don't know. I'm just tired. Makes it even better. Wonder if I've been to these ones before. Probably. I mean, I've crossed a Coots, Alberta before. Oh, it's a big city down there. What town is this? That's a city. That's not a town. No idea. Well, let me go to this pilot first. Because I saw this one first. So, it's got dips. Let's go see if there's some parking in here. Spot for truck across the old blue. Turn right on 35th Street. Quiet, Karen. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Well, there's lots of parking back there. Why are these guys parked up here then? Lots of parking spots back there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Parking lot's half empty. No reason to park up here. really is half empty. Look at this. Oh, and they got more back here. Wow. Okay, but I saw a good spot back at the other side where we came in. I'm going to go to that one. I've got a good look around now. See, I was thinking of parking right here on the other side of this cattle trailer that nosed in, but I just wanted to smell it first. Oh yeah, nah, never mind, never mind. Oh, that is fresh. That's what I thought. See, it would have been quiet parked right there beside him, but that trailer stinks. And uh, I don't mind the smell. You know, farmers would say that's the smell of money, but me, the smell of money smells a lot more like diesel fuel and diesel fumes. park up here uh, beside this other guy that knows then or between these two over here anyway just on the left all right let's go take a look at it let's make sure I'm straight straight to me. I mean, I lined myself up with this line that went down there because they don't have any lines painted here again. Is that like a Montana thing that they don't paint lines? Oh, but according to that truck, I'm not straight with that truck. But it's good enough. Definitely good enough. So that's that. I'm tired again. It's been a long day again, but a successful day. I'm happy with how the day turned out. I got my walk in. I got a shower. I got uh, 500 miles behind me today. Got about another 400 to do tomorrow. So we'll get up uh, as soon as we're able to. We'll get moving. I'll get into Banff tomorrow evening sometime, and then I unload the following day, which is a Saturday, which is odd, but I'm okay with that. I like weekend deliveries. That's uh, great. At least I don't have to wait till Monday, right? So we'll deliver first thing Friday, uh, Saturday morning, and then there's no plan yet, but again, I'm still assuming that they're just going to send me to Calgary to sleep there. Maybe Edmonton. We'll find out. But wherever I'm going to, I'll be sitting there probably for a reset because uh, I'll get there Saturday afternoon and then I won't be loading till Monday morning unless there's a shipper that wants to load me on Sunday or Saturday afternoon. Not going to hold my breath on that one. But you never know. You never know. There are some very fine people out there who uh, like to work weekends. I don't know many of them, but they exist. I'm just going to say that and manifest it into existence. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me today. Uh, we uh, started. Where did we start? 
uh, Utah, right? We started uh, north of Salt Lake City. Uh, just north of Salt Lake City. And we drove all the way up here to... Oh, i got to find out what city this is yet. One second. I am confused. I don't know what city I'm in. Uh, where are we? Come on, Google. Speak to me. Oh, magic box. Okay, we're at Pilot Town Pump Travel Center in... Great Falls, I don't, no, not, Montana. Keep wanting to call everything. Like when I was fueling up in uh, Boulder, I kept wanting to call it Boulder, Colorado. It's, it's Boulder, Montana. Now I wanted to call it Great Falls, Great Falls, Idaho. And it was Great Falls, Montana. I'm in Montana. Say it with me, Josh. I'm in Montana. I love Montana. It's on my, my list of uh, top 50 favorite states. Can't say I was straight face. I love them all. I love all of them for different reasons. Some of them I love a little bit more than others. I'm gonna say some of the states I love a little bit, and some states I love a lot more than others. No, actually, yeah, I love them. They're all pretty. I like them all for their own reasons. Um, even states, you know, like California, they got great weather. And if you have lots and lots and lots and lots of money, you can live a pretty good life there. I mean, you need lots of money, but uh, you could have a house up in the hills. Nice houses there. Um, New York. Upstate New York is nice. Uh, North Dakota. Well, it's a neighbor to Manitoba. That's what makes it so great. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. So I will see you here in the morning. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Just go down below, make sure you're still subscribed. I've heard sometimes people get unsubscribed. I don't know if it's like a glitch in YouTube or something. I've heard other YouTubers mention that before too. I don't know if it's a thing or not, but just go down below, make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, if you wanna help me out, and if you did enjoy the video, you watched all the way to the end, thank you very much. Uh, if you wanna hit that thumbs up button for me, that's uh, the best way you can support me. I love seeing, uh, Seeing that, leave me a comment down below. That's the next level of how you can support me. That When you leave a comment, it tells the algorithms on YouTube that people are engaging with it. And the more engagement I have underneath my videos, the more it'll share it to new people. And the more new people will see my videos. So that's a great way. And if you want to go one step further, you're like a super hardcore trucker Josh viewer. You've been watching me for years. Or maybe you just got here and you really like it. You can go down below my video and click the join now button. You become you can become a member. Uh, premium members get early access to all my videos. Up to a week early. Uh, but at least uh, uh, a couple days early. You know, as soon as I get them edited, put together, get them uploaded, put it on the internet. I schedule it and get it ready so that my videos release one week later. That gives me some time because I'm a busy guy. Uh, so if I film today, seven days later, a week later, it gets released publicly. That, that gives me a, a bit of time, a bit of buffer time, which I need because uh, it takes a bit of time to put this all together. And that, that way I can try to get a steady video out every day. But if you're a premium member, as soon as that's uploaded, sometimes I have the whole week uploaded. So you get a, a, a week in advance. Other times it's just a day or two or three as I'm catching up. Uh, sometimes I'll drop like four videos in one day to the members because I got four videos edited in one day. Um, but if you're not interested in that, you can always just hang around here and wait for the next video to be released. I try to release them at 4 p.m. Central Time. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Stay safe out there. Keep your stick on the ice, which means pay attention. Keep your head up out there. Use your turn signals. And I'll see you tomorrow.